Edward here from ERViewer.com and I have another session here for you in my series of remote viewing people. There will be more series to come uh, as I will continue to explore not only people but also places, things, and events. Uh, this is my own kind of a personal video archive of how I remote view these things and I feel that it's important for any remote viewer to um, to explore how they remote view. The process goes from learning how to remote view to learning how you remote view. And that's what these videos are for me so that I can have an archive and go back and learn from uh, myself and how I remote view. So hopefully you find it interesting as well. And the target for this session was Ayn Rand and the target was selected for me by someone who was not in the room when I did the remote viewing session. I was semi front loaded only in that I knew that my target was a person and I had no idea who the person was. So the fascinating thing about this session um, was that I, I didn't know very much about Ayn Rand uh, as a person or really understand her philosophies. Uh, but the, the session um, allowed me to learn uh, things about uh, her that I probably would not have learned from either watching uh, movies or reading her books. The initial aesthetic impact or my first initial feeling about the person was that I didn't was that I didn't completely agree with them. Um, or something about them that I didn't agree with. And then the rest of the session was uh, ex basically exploring um, that part. What I did not get was her political views and, and go into detail of how she viewed politics and economics. What I honed in on uh, and what I find most interesting and fascinating is why the person um, holds the stance that they do. And so this session with Ayn Rand uh, was an unfolding of that um, aspect. And what I got was that was someone who experienced a traumatic, shocking event that, um, and this was in the, in the session, took them from an innocence to adulthood perspective very quickly. And in my research of Ayn Rand, I found that uh, at the age of 12, uh, she was a, um, lived in a, a home in Russia, affluent uh, home, Jewish home. Her father was a business owner, um, and she lived a, a very nice childhood. Until at the age of 12, during the Russian Revolution, where the government came and took everything from them and forced them to flee the country uh, only to return at a later time and almost starve to death, literally, uh, once they returned. Uh, so she was someone who had literally lost everything, everything was taken from her. And that's what was coming through very strongly in this session, was this idea of, of something being taken from this person and the, the result of that altering the way uh, uh, that they that they see things or creating a new path for them in life. There was also the this very strong sense of coming up against overwhelming odds, which I believe uh, were related to her experience um, as a, a young child in Russia. But I also feel that it could possibly be um, her as a uh, writer of uh, philosophy, politics and economics in the 1930s, 40s, and 50s when uh, those things weren't, were not acceptable from females. Those were, those were realms of men. Uh, and she did come up against a lot of opposition um, at those times for the stances that she took um, and that she held that position up until the very end, uh, which was very interesting. I also got that this was a person uh, with a real attitude, a real in-your-face attitude that came through very strongly. Um, she was very in-your-face. 
I didn't get that there was a she, um, but that the person that I was remote viewing had a had an attitude that was in your face, and so it was it was very very interesting to do the session, and then to 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 do the research, um, to find out what where my perceptions were coming from, and I uh, hope you enjoy the session, and more to come. Seven seven six seven two eight zero zero. Curving out, curving diagonal back. Vertical down, hard, biological, stage two is yellow, brown, black, silver, tan, rough, smooth, edged around semi soft gold a chemical smell fragrant salty temperatures buzzing sounds clanking thumping down up around flat inside narrow down, horizontal, getting an AOL of a platform, <clears throat> close, edged, an AOL of night and an AOL of nightmare. <clears throat> Around, flat, greasy, narrow, getting an AOL of plunge. Able to signal like dropping someone. Dimensions inside, above, getting close.
above. Clanking. In. Deep. Dense. Open. Far. In AOL of Astronaut. There I go. Dimension. Flat. Narrow. Around. Above. Dimension. Close. Okay, an AOL of I'm sorry, AOL of the signal. It's like someone asking for something. Like someone asking for something. Dimension? How do I feel about him? How do I feel about him? AI is starting to come through now. How do I feel about it? I feel a little cautious. A little cautious. Three dimensions, AI, tangible, intangible, AI, the signal, getting the idea of plentiful, plentiful, abundant, 
funding. Mainstream. Mainstream. You know, the idea of grueling. Grueling. Difficult. Sign above the idea of franchise, franchise. Sensory dimensions, AI, tangible, intangible, AOL, AOL of the signal. You need an idea of business, exchange, welfare. Um, AOL of the signal, this like. A politician, like a politician. There's exchange going on. <clears throat> There's exchange going on. Glassy. You need an idea of missing. Missing. Looping, 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 and there's the, there's some idea of this of looping, looping, narrow, outside. Emotions of the sun. What does this person feel? What is their emotion? What is their emotional state? Fear. Fright. Angst. In the idea of future. And I'm getting missing. My feeling. A little apprehensive. I feel apprehensive. Like um, there's something here I'm gonna, I'm going to um, stage that's four and a half this. Um, there's something there that doesn't feel right to me. That doesn't feel right to me.
like I don't agree with this person. Agree with or like I don't agree with something that they're about. Like I, d I don't like I don't totally agree with them. Or what they're about. <clears throat> There's something there. Okay. Getting an idea of conclusion. Conclusion. The end of something. The end of something. It's like this person was involved in something that ended that ended like they stuck like they stuck with it to the end Dedicated. You do that as an EI. Dedicated. They stuck with something until the end. They stuck with it till the end. And then it feels like um, uh, the emotions there are mixed, not all good, not all good. Like, um, like some tragedy happened, um, I'm going to S4 and half that one as well. <clears throat> some, they were involved in something tragic. Something tragic. At least that's the part that I'm tuning uh, into. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and clarify that. That's that's the part I'm tuning in on. Something tragic. Sensory dimensions, AI, EI, tangible, intangible, AOL, AOL is a signal. Let me go ahead and do a movement on that. Describe the tragic event this person is known for. To 
Describe the tragic event that this person is known for. People. People are involved. People. Several people. Several people. Describe the tragic event that this person is known for. People are involved. Banding together. Banding together. Fighting for something. They're fighting for something. They're fighting for something. Fighting for something. But it's like, um, it's like something, uh, outside of their control. Outside of their control. It's like, um, Like, uh, and this is an E I hear, a sense of, a sense of, um, overwhelm, overwhelm. Fighting for something, like something outside of their control. Hey, well, the signal, like a war, like a war. I'm getting this, um, and I'm going to go ahead and call this S7. Um, I try to get this out properly here. makes a difference. I mean this this idea of overwhelming odds. Overwhelming odds. Overwhelming odds. But um 
somehow this, and this is more in the EI, this person feels at home with these uh, overwhelming odds. With these overwhelming odds, they feel at home in this position. <clears throat> Write that down. They feel home, at home, in this position. Um, I'm getting just I keep getting this idea that the odds are stacked against them the odds are stacked against them but they are they are up against something big. Yeah, they're up against something big. And I just have this uh, AO of a signal. Like a David and Goliath um, situation. Like a David and Goliath situation. The odds are stacked against them. They are up against something big. But they like that. But they like that. They they live for that. They live for that. Up against going up against the odds. Going up against the odds. Doing something. Um, that others can't can't do going up against the odds going up against the odds going up against the odds Like, um, I think there's an, an attitude. There's an attitude there. Kind of in your face. The odds are against them. The odds are against them. But there's something about that, though, that um, even though the odds even though the odds are against them, they um, 
They go for this. They go for it. That's why 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 they go for it. Odds are against them, and they like that. <clears throat> I'm going to do a movement here. Describe how this person. Help do I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Describe what is motivating this person. Describe what is what is motivating this person to feel this way. There's some some kind of a tragedy. Some kind of a tragedy. Something lost. Something was lost. Something lost. It's like, um, some, it's like a shocking event. that um, altered this person's um, altered this person's view view of their place and how to um, place it's like um, something was removed something was removed from them and changed them forever something was removed and Something was removed and changed them. Shocking event that altered their this person's view of them of their place. Something was removed from them and changed them. Something was removed from them. Something was removed. removed from them and and as a result as a result it f 
freed them from certain restrictions. I freed them from certain restrictions and propelled them in their direction very strongly. Something was removed within them. Well, so something removed within them as well. Something removed within them. I'm getting this sense of, I'm trying to describe it here, but it's like something being taken out of someone. Uh, I'm going to ask four and a half that. Something being taken out of someone that results in um, in a new path for that person. And it's like um, it's like a blessing and a curse. It's like a blessing and a curse because of the the loss, and then there's the purpose. that resulted like that person wouldn't be known had it not been for that thing that person would not be known without that thing without that without that event happening they wouldn't have um, they wouldn't have uh, taken on them they wouldn't have it gave them some sense of themselves gave them some sense of themselves it defined them. It defined them. It defined them. Define them. It's like a um, they were given up purpose in life. And they held they held that very close.
hold that very close. Proud, there's an EI. Proud. Yeah, AOL of a single like. Um, Native American. Yeah, defined. Uh, and that's defined by something. that happened to them. Defined by something that happened to them. There's like this turning point. This turning point. Turning point from innocence to um, adulthood by trial, by trial. This is very, this is, it's very significant. Um, uh, how do I feel about it? How do I feel about it? I feel kind of, kind of, uh, kind of sad for them. I feel kind of sad for them. And a sense of understanding that as well. It's like something clicked and changed them. A tragedy. A what feels like some kind of a shocking or, or tragic event. Again, I'm getting my AI here. But there's something that, that feels kind of sad to me. Sad. Um, but I want to do a movement here, another movement. Describe what this, describe how this person, describe how this person um, saw their own purpose. Describe.
describe how this person saw their own purpose. How did they see their purpose? How did they see it? Um, I'm getting the idea of a martyr. Martyr. But that's not that strong. Describe how this person saw their own purpose. Anger. It's like um, the fight. The fight. Like they were pushed into. pushed into into a fighting or conflict uh, situation um, the purpose is It's like um, like they were like they were made into this. They were made into this. They didn't it's like they didn't choose it. As much as it chose them. That's how they feel. Like an accepted fate. Like an accepted fate. That's how they feel. It's like a like a burden. But they feel that that the purpose is um like a burden like they had no choice they had no choice like the purpose was given to them purpose was given to them. And the purpose was given to them. I get this sense like they feel um, like they were created as opposed to 
they created their persona creating their own or, or their own purpose like they took on some burden but completely they took it on That's really the strongest feel that I, the strongest perception that comes through. It chose them, they didn't choose it. That kind of feel. So the purpose, um, was one that, um, they felt was put upon them. The purpose was put upon them. And that that's the part that um, my AI, or how I feel about it, um, I feel kind of bad for them. Because of that. I can understand, I can understand it. I can understand it. And that I wouldn't want to be in their shoes. I wouldn't want to be in their shoes. This person um, was changed by some shock or tragedy that altered their um, course and purpose in life. 
Um, there was something taken from this person something was taken from them and as a result they were given a new purpose in life. It's like a blessing and a curse. I feel bad for them. I feel bad for them. Like they were burdened um, by tragedy and then defined by it. And it is five forty two. PM and end. Uh, the target is Ayn Rand. Ayn Rand. Oh, that's interesting.